What's good, everybody? It's DeBron Shanghai here, back again with some more NBA 2K talk. That's a weird thing to fucking say. What's good, everybody? It's DeBron Shanghai, and I'm back today, and I've been thinking, you know, 2K18 is about to come out, and all of this news is leaking, and everybody has all of their speculations about what's going to happen. So I was thinking about my team, you know, that's what I've been playing lately. I haven't been posting gameplay, but I've been playing a lot of my team lately. And I was thinking, at launch, my team was trash and my team didn't do great like as as it did in, in previous years it didn't do as good park took over so in 2k18 2k has to manage my team better they have to do a better job from start to finish of how they go about releasing cards and everything first thing that comes to mind on what they gotta fix in my team like the most significant thing is the moments cards i feel like the moments card all around like this year they didn't think this out properly like straight up they really did it First and foremost, the way that they upgraded tiers this year was weird, and I didn't really, I didn't really like the way it worked out. So, when you when a player had a big game, they get an upgrade card if the car if the game was big enough. But the problem with that is, your upgrade your upgrade to diamond your your game that you made you upgrade to diamond shouldn't be less impressive as the game that got you to amethyst. Say Kawhi Leonard was at the time was a sapphire card, and he put, he had a 50 point game. That 50 point game would only get him a move up to ruby. He wouldn't jump straight to to diamond or anything. That would be ruby. And so say Ruby Kawhi Leonard had a good game. Ruby Kawhi Leonard had a 40 point game, which is less impressive than his 50 point game. That Ruby Kawhi Leonard would then become an amethyst, which is weird to me. How does a 50 point game not get you better than a 40 point game? That's dumb to me. I think the solution would be to make cards based off of the performance, and it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be like a giant upgrade every time. Like FIFA has different variations of players that aren't a huge upgrade every time. They're just better at certain things. Like say those in that, those two Kawhi Leonard games. One of those in one of those games, Kawhi Leonard shot more threes than the other one. Then that card, regardless of the overall, should have a higher three. And the other card, whichever, like what say in the other game he had. A lot of dunks then that dunk the dunk on that card should be higher instead of just going off of oh he needs to upgrade because he had a good game and the argument that i feel 2k would make for this would be what if like last year anthony davis came out with a monster game what if anthony davis came out on the opening night of nba and dropped 60. are we supposed to just give him a diamond card off rip hell yeah nigga give him that give him that diamond card that man deserved that diamond card and that would that would be good for the 2k community they don't want to like crash the stock the stock market they don't want to crash the market like of, like immediately into the game but as players i don't give a fuck about that i want the best cards that i can have and as a youtuber bro nobody want to see no sapphire cards as a youtuber you know, on opening day of the nba if anthony davis come out i gotta get the anthony davis for my i gotta get him for my squad i gotta get them views nobody don't want to have to deal with like how last year we had sapphire lebron and sapphire curry as the two best players in the game and we don't have we don't want to have to deal with that garbage to play with those little boo boo ass cards until later like months within the game to get like that real shit. And one thing that bugged me about my team in the moments cards is that outside of the in season cards like when a player had a good game like the random ones that they would introduce from like the past and stuff. It's like when when where did these where are these cards coming from? What is this card? Like it's so hard to tell. It's like one of the one of the Kobe Bryant cards, I don't remember which one. I'm not going back to do the research, nigga. This ain't my scientific method. One of the Kobe Bryant cards, it said it was from 2000 and I think it was 2006. But yet this nigga had the jersey number 24. And it's like, like which Kobe is this? Like it's a moments card, but it's like, what 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 is the moment? We don't know. I don't know the moment. Then another example is I have, I recently got a uh, Diamond Rondo. And I looked at the card and it says it's from 2008, but it has his age wrong from like when it's 2008. It has like, I think the age is from like 2012, Rondo. So it's like, what is this moment card? Like they don't do a good job at all of telling you what the moment card is. And some people might not care about that, but I fucking care, bro. I think an easy fix to this, and it's a super easy fix, is to, on every card that wasn't in the game at launch, what the hell? For every card that wasn't in the game at launch, Put a little bio on it. Like, you know, like how you can, you right click on a player and you can go through their attributes, their badges and all of that stuff. Put a little bio on there from whatever the game is. Like for instance, 
that Rondo card, like say, I don't know if it's from 2000, I think it's from 2012. This Rajan Rondo card had a so-and-so game and got in LeBron James' ass and locked him up all game. Or some shit like that, just something like that to let us know what is the significance of this card? Where does this card come from? Like who, like what time period and what did he do to get this rating? Like, it's very simple. They don't even have to be that long. It'd be like two sentences. I just want to know what the fuck the card is, bro. But that's like the first two things that come to my mind with my team. You know, it's a lot more that need fixing, but those are like the first two things that come to my mind personally. But I feel like if they fix that, then really, man, that'd be the best thing to happen to 2K since Vic Van Lille died at 2K16. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think. What do, what do y'all think about all this my team stuff? Do y'all agree with me? Do y'all disagree? What y'all want them to change about my team? If you're new, subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'm D. Brown Shanghai. And I'm up out of here.